In this video, I'll walk you through setting up for Android development using the free Delphi Community Edition available from Embarcadero Technologies. The first step is to update the Android SDK so you have the latest version. Then we're gonna add the platform tools to your path for easy reference. Then we will import the Android SDK into your IDE, enable USB debugging on your device, install the Android USB drivers, and connect the Android device to your computer. If you had the installer install the Android SDK and indicate, then they should be uh, installed in this directory here, which is local, disk, users, public, documents, Embarcadero Studio. Uh, 19 is the version I installed. If you're on a newer version, it would be 20, et cetera. Catalog repository. And these two folders here. Now these are really the only two folders that have any significant amount of data in here. And personally, I like having them outside of this folder. So I moved them up to the studio directory here. So that there, I'm gonna give them a fair friendly name here just so they're a little easier to recognize. Now there's one more step you have to do here in the SDK manager. This is a Java applet, so it's kind of slow to start up and it looks a little goofy, but it gets the job done. So I'm gonna go through and run this and update it, install the latest version of the SDK and the tools. So we're gonna update the SDK tools, install the platform tools and the build tools. And then we're going to install, well, let's not install PE, we'll install, oh, right here, we'll install mine. So we only need SDK platform is the only file we need installed from the uh, version of the Android SDK we want installed and we need the Google USB driver. Um, this lets you uh, connect your Android device to your computer. So very important. So we install packages and we can just accept the license. And it's gonna take a minute. Uh, this error message here just means that the ADB server, which is the Android debug bridge, wasn't running, which is fine because we hadn't started it yet. So it's not really an error. While it's doing that, one thing I like to do is this uh, platform tools folder is where ADB is located. This is a very useful utility. So I grab this and add it to my system path here. Environment variables, path, edit, new, there we go. So now that'll be on my system path. Uh, if you're ever doing stuff from the command line, that's very, very useful to have. This message just let me know that everything has been updated. So there we go. Now we've installed the Android SDK. Now we need to tell the IDE where to find it. So we can go in here to Tools, Options, SDK Manager, and I'm going to delete the old one because I move things around. And hit Add, Platform. Uh, you do the same, similar process for iOS. You need a Mac connected. And SDK version, Add New. And all I have to do is tell it the path, which I have on my clipboard still. Oops. And NDK, which is going to be Android NDK. Uh, uh, you should have installed the JDK earlier. Make sure you install the 32 bit of Java Development Kit. If you don't, then you need to install that. And then I hit next. And it goes through and looks for all the various utilities it needs and make sure that it can find them. And if you scroll down here, it should all look correct. We have some little triangles there, so everything's good. We hit finish and uh, we see that everything is all set up correctly now. I'll walk you through the process of putting your phone into developer mode. Uh, 
This phone's already in developer mode, but I'll show you the steps anyway. Also, I'm running uh, a beta of Android P, so it'll look different on your phone, but the, the basic steps will be the same. First of all, you go into settings, which is where I'm at now. You scroll down to the bottom and you will have about phone or system or something like that. So I'm gonna go into system here. And with this one, I have to go into advanced because I'm looking for about phone. So see down at the bottom is about phone. You'll also notice I have developer options here. That's because it's already in developer mode. Um, you probably won't have that because you're not in developer mode yet. If you do, we, well, you're done. I'll, but let's go ahead and do about phone. And again here, I have to go advanced and we got to find the build number. So there it is down at the bottom, it says build number. And you just tap on this a few times. And if your phone's not in developer mode yet, after you tap on it a few times, it'll say, keep going, you're almost there. And then eventually it'll say, congratulations, you're in developer mode or something along those lines. Then you go back out and you go into developer options. And the important thing here is you have to turn on USB debugging, which is right there. This is what allows you to connect um, you know, that's the warning message you'll get. Connect your computer via USB cable over the Android debug bridge so that you can deploy and debug applications from your favorite IDE. Before we can debug on or deploy to our Android device, we have to install the USB driver. We ran the SDK manager earlier. We installed the Google USB driver. Here's the path of the SDK manager and it goes into extras Google USB driver. I just right click on this guy here and say install. And this will install it into Windows. And now when I plug my Android device into my computer, if you watch device manager, Android device showed up here. It may show up something different. I've had sometimes it comes down at the bottom into your USB device, but somehow it will see it show up in your system. Now we added the platform tools to our environment path. So I can come in here and access ADB and type ADB devices and we'll see unauthorized. Now the reason it says unauthorized is because we haven't yet authorized this computer to work with our device. So if we go to our, our Android device, it will say allow USB debugging. We just say always allow, hit okay. And now I run this again and it shows that the device is available for debugging and deployment. With that, you're ready to start developing Android applications with Delphi Community Edition. Be sure to check out our other videos and visit Embarcadero.com to learn more about Delphi Community Edition and our other products.